Last week, we continued cleaning Mariah's chassis and we delved a bit deeper into the man they call Hunner, the Afrikaans word for chicken, and how he got his name. I jumped like a chicken since then. It's Hunner or chicken, or Nando's. <laughs> this week, we discover that Hunner is our very own Renaissance man as he gently coaxes Mariah through the final stages of prepping her chassis. Now, Hunner, you do know this is the color of baby chickens. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> so we're at week 12. Seems like a lifetime ago that we hit the highway from Johannesburg to Leisure Bay in uh, Marae. Uh, but finally the guys are starting to put the uh, coating, the epoxy coating on um, to seal everything up to stop any rust happening again. And uh, after last week and the way I treated Hendrik, I hope he's going to be kind to me. Twelve weeks since we saw our future motorhome in her bus form for sale on the internet. Twelve weeks since I took my son's life into my hands and made him drive a five-ton rust bucket from Johannesburg to Leisure Bay, some 700 kilometers. The steering wheel, there's like almost a full revolution of play before the before the steering takes so you constantly having to sort of steer like a boat without a rudder is what it is what it feels like and then the brakes you have to pump I had to pump the brakes once and then pump the brakes a few times but then when you apply any pressure it wants to pull hard to the left it was basically like felt like you were in gym a hardcore gym session Okay, we only made less than half the journey, but we are still alive. Someone who is no longer alive is the Renaissance poet, sculptor, painter and architect Michelangelo. He famously spent four years painting the interior of the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican City at the insistence of Pope Julius. Most of that time he spent looking upwards as he painted the ceiling. Here on the slow coast of KwaZulu Natal, we have our own Renaissance artist in the form of Hendrik, aka Huna, who, if he grew a beard, may even look like the famous artist. At the insistence of Pope Philip, he has spent the last 12 weeks cleaning and scraping Mariah's chassis clean. He now spends his days, like Michelangelo, looking upwards. So what you see behind me here is not unsimilar to what Michelangelo must have gone through when he painted the roof of the Sistine Chapel. And I always thought that the oak lay down and he painted it, but uh, apparently he stood up. But he was always looking up and I reckon he got a lot of paint in his eyes. Hendrik, you're getting paint in your eyes? Not yet. Not yet. He's doing a good Michelangelo there. It is inspiring and mesmerizing to see just how Hendrik wields his paintbrush. The purpose, the finesse, only pausing to change position. Michelangelo would be proud. Oh, and uh, for you younger bunch, Michelangelo is not a turtle. Slowly and methodically, Hendrik works his way through Mariah's entire chassis. His pampering efforts are rubbing off on Mariah and she starts to glow. If she were a cat, she would be purring. Yesterday, uh, when I arrived, uh, Hendrik had just started to do the ceiling with this uh, yellow epoxy that you see. And um, yeah, he's getting there. It's going slowly, but he's getting there. It's, uh, um, what's going to happen as soon as he's finished doing all this stuff by hand, he's then going to come and they'll, they'll spray it to give it a nice even finish. At the beginning of this episode, I mentioned we were still alive after our attempt to drive Mariah from Johannesburg to Leisure Bay. Stripping Mariah has revealed many things, some of them scary. This shows just how lucky we were during our epic drive to the south coast. All right, Hendrik has said there's something he wants to show me. Yeah. If you look at, at the back here, as you see your feathers, the way your feathers are laying, okay? You've got a bracket here, okay? Look at what I see. Can you see what I see there? Okay. 
How did you make it to Kozul and Natal with this bus? Hendrik has just reminded me of um, what our drive down was like. I mean, we took a huge risk, you know. We basically got, got into a bus that we had no idea what its history was, and we started to drive it 700 kilometers from Johannesburg down to KwaZulu-Natal to Leisure Bay. And we lasted until the bottom of Van Rienen Pass, one of the steepest motoring passes in South Africa. Yeah, the angels were out, the angels were there. Next week, we get to the final stages of sealing the chassis. The Raptor, not Rapture, but Raptor, makes its appearance. We don't want the Rapture right now. I'll be most peed off if the Rapture comes and we cannot finish Mirai. Remember to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We are also on Twitter. You will find us under A Dream Called Mirai. Until next time, keep safe and keep your dreams alive.